building a third person controller based on Fishnet. And as you can see, this past two weeks were somewhat challenging in some of the uh, things that I had to solve. But two weeks ago, it was based on weights. So basically the hand weights and the foot weights. And at the beginning of this video, you saw how that went. There was a big struggle in, in uh, getting exact calculations of rotations sometimes, as well as um, getting them to smoothly uh, operate. Uh, it took a lot of tweaking to get just right. I had to modify a lot of uh, the curves that you saw in, in some of my uh, scripts here. And it, it also took a little bit of uh, thinking out of the box for, for some of uh, these problems that I had to solve. One of them specifically was the, um, how do you determine the next um, placement or the next step? Uh, and what I was originally doing was I was actually calculating how you move on a ladder step based on a step height. And what I found is the, the larger the ladder is, the more and more difficult it is to determine that exact step height. So I decided to actually rip that completely out and go with a solution where it will determine the step height based on the next step. So how did I do that? How did I say, well, how do I know what the next step is? Because uh, each ladder step is not created. If, if somebody wanted to make their own ladder and it's a little bit different from mine, I need to be able to move the character in such a way that it's going to be smooth on any different step height ladder there, there may be. And so I decided to actually make uh, what's called a linked list. And what that is, is just kind of a coding term for uh, a way to say uh, a certain item in the list knows about the next item in the list. So what I can do is I say, hey, you're on this current step. Give me the next step. And what is uh, uh, what is the height? And I can slowly lerp from uh, step A to step B. And I also made it so you can do it backwards so it knows about the previous steps so that you can go up and go down and it will determine that exact step and that exact height. So all the steps in the ladder don't actually have to be um, the exact height. You can set any height that you want in your ladder. But obviously the best case scenario here would be to have uh, a ladder that makes sense. So as you can see in these videos that um, I'm actually using a, a pretty normal uh, ladder here. And uh, you know, after all, uh, figuring out that exact step height, that helped to solve some of these other problems, which is the exact placements. Because if I know what step I'm going to, I can know where to place my hands and my feet. Um, and so I, you know, I was thinking, oh, I'll just use that linked list to determine the step height and step um, and hand and hand positions. But it, it ended up actually being a lot harder than I thought. And so I ended up just rolling back to my original method, which is when the hand and the feet enter into a particular uh, trigger, it will know based on the trigger that you entered where those hands or uh, those feet should be placed. And so I just adjusted the size of the triggers to be a little bit bigger so that uh, you have a little bit more leeway in case the, the animations aren't quite exact. So one thing that I had problems with the first week was uh, the animations, as you saw in the previous video, made it look like the climbing wasn't correct. So I actually remade the animations as root animations and imported the uh, provided Unity character and to help try and make it more exact. And while it did clean up some of the animations, the placements were still off. There's some issues related to Cascader uh, to Unity. The animations aren't exact. I'm not quite sure what that is right now, but it's to the point where it's good enough. Then I moved on to working on multiplayer side of things. And as you can see, the, the very first time I tried to, to do this, the movement didn't work. Uh, I had to uh, fix that. And then uh, the second time that the other player's movement looks great, but the owner player, his movement is very jittery. And I think that's related to uh, the reconciliation po uh, portion of the, the client side prediction. So now, uh, kind of the next week, 
here is the plan is to really hit multiplayer hard before I add any more features on the ladder that I want to, like entering from the top, sliding down, or jumping off. Uh, because I really like to uh, get a uh, kind of an early um, version of this out on my Patreon. And if you aren't a, a Patreon supporter, I would encourage you to uh, support me on Patreon. If you like this project, you want to see more videos, and you want to uh, get your hands on the controller when it, when it is released early.